Conventional wisdom says you can't fight City Hall. Well, Dave Ridley of RidleyReport.com is about to challenge conventional wisdom here outside the State House in Concord, New Hampshire. But I am looking if anybody's got any kind of blank, blank signs. New Hampshire RSA 286 colon 1 makes it a misdemeanor to perform a for-profit puppet show without government's permission. An RSA 286 colon 5 suggests that the selectmen are required to prosecute. After notifying all the relevant law enforcement agencies and the media, Dave's determined to force the issue today, April 30th, 2008, a performance delayed a week due to puppeteer illness. Hey, would you care to make a uh, statement to the court of public opinion before potentially being carted away? Yeah, just want to make sure everyone understands what this demonstration is about. We're doing an illegal puppet show to draw attention to the fact that the state has too many laws against just things they shouldn't have laws against. It's illegal in New Hampshire to have a puppet show for profit without a license. But there's also five million words of many other laws that are crazy laws that they had a chance to take off the books. There was a, a bill before the state house to get rid of all these unnecessary laws and they didn't even debate it on the house floor. And that's what I'm protesting is their failure to repeal the thousands of bad laws that we have in New Hampshire. He may just be frustrated in his pursuit of confrontation, however. Just this month, Keene police ignored gambling in an illegal poker game in an outdoor table at the well-attended Keene Freedom Festival. Do our keepers consider puppets to be more dangerous to society than voluntary games of chance? We shall see. Illegal sure. gathering! Illegal gathering over here, people! Come on! Illegal. Don't party! Help us! It's illegal! You specifically told uh, the uh, state house cop that you weren't going to stop recording. And that seemed to kind of take balls. Um, what was your justification for that? Well, it, I don't know if it's legal or not to do that, um, but we just can't. I mean, if we start refusing or if we start complying with orders to not videotape, there's no end to the evils that can be done to us. So that's a, that's a hill that we'll just maybe have to die on. I don't know. So that was just another uh, bit of civil disobedience on your part. I guess so. Although, like I said, you know that that law is never really enforced as long as I mean I don't I've never known a case where they've actually enforced a law where you said you're being videotaped and I'm audio taping you and I'm refusing to stop. I don't know of anyone ever being prosecuted under that. It's when you're surreptitiously doing it that you, that you usually get in trouble. Is my understanding. I wandered over there with a flag on my shoulder to talk to somebody. And then they came out and asked us some questions. Do you have a permit and stuff like that? You know, the authorities most here is uh, Which is, in a way, it's not good for us. It's better if they come down on us. Um, but they're doing the wise thing, I think. Civil Dis Godmother Lauren Canario, <laughs> any thoughts on today's proceedings? This will be fun. I don't think anything, anyone looks very dangerous here, so probably don't need to arrest anyone. In the 1850s at some point, the United States invaded Mexico. And uh, this is controversial at the time, kind of like the Iraq War. People uh, protested against it, and a very small number, or a relatively small number, refused to pay the poll tax, which assisted in the funding of Me uh, the Mexican War. The Mexican War was my idea. I'm the government. <laughs> Hello, Henry David Thoreau. Can I have your money now so I can kill Mexicans? I'm going to run away. <laughs> Henry David Thoreau is going to work one day. Henry David Thoreau, I will pay your tax for you if you just go away and leave me alone. No. There's a bunch of people who've already just come off the street. These that are shouting with the, the sign and everything, they just showed up, asked what was going on, and wanted to be part of it. That's awesome. Oh my god, Henry! Henry has gone and done nothing again! <laughs> it doesn't take very long for some mysterious person to appear in front of the government. You're free to go! I think it's far from Oh, really? Excellent. For, uh, <laughs> Have you seen the movie Gandhi? Yeah. Um, you know how at the toward the beginning yeah. or like in the middle of the movie yeah. he starts making salt, you know? Yeah. Um, and he's going everywhere and everybody's making salt. Yeah. And they're like, well, we're just going to ignore them. Yeah. Pretend yeah, yeah, they're yeah, not yeah. there. All of a sudden. And right, right. then everybody's making salt. So that's what I want to 
to happen here is yep. we sort of like spread something out so they can't ignore it because so many people are doing it. Not necessarily puppeteering, but yep. all kinds of constructive illegal things. Yep. Yep. Uh, well, the curtain is falling and Dave is still free. Go figure. Hi, Maggie. Dave saw you were arrested today. Oh, yeah. She knows that I was trying to get arrested. And, uh, <laughs> I gotta say, I'm sorry too. You know, I was hoping to be in jail uh, by now. But he, we're, we're gonna call the uh, we're gonna call the cops and let them know that we're doing something illegal. So hopefully that'll bring them out here. Future plans? Well, I think what we need to do maybe is just do this again, but maybe do it more provocatively, closer up to the front of the state house, maybe, or maybe between the two buildings, the legislative office building and the state house. More reps will see us there. The uh, Capitol Police like that less for us to be in those locations. And this isn't just about puppeteering; it's also about being able to demonstrate on state house grounds without uh, requesting permission from the government. So, if we get, you know, if that's what they arrest us for, that's fine. Calling the cops on Dave now. They never talk about him on TV, you know, the media. They give him nothing. Yes, um, outside of the uh, Concord State House, there's a man holding a, a puppet show for profit without a license. I have, I have a dozen of them. I got both sides of I said, uh, outside the, uh, the State House, there's a man holding a puppet show for profit without having a, a license from the town. And um, I'm witnessing it. I'm, my understanding is that that's highly illegal. RSA 286. RSA 286 colon 1. Um, but I uh, just wanted to make sure and let y'all know that this was going on without a license. Oh, um, yeah? Just one, the, the man having the puppet show. Right. There are some spectators, but that's it. Paying spectators. All right, thank you. <laughs> so if you really want to get him here, say there's a misdemeanor being committed in, in front of the state house. No, I don't want to. So are they are they on it? Are they going to be here? Do the police ever tell you what they're going to do? Concord PD, it'll be half an hour. Yeah, I, I had to I had to call the police station, listen to this this long IVR rant, and finally at the end of all the options, says if you want to report a crime, call this number. Shouldn't that be the first option? Sound I know. <laughs> Festivities are wrapping up. It would appear RSA 286-5 is being violated. They're not holding their oath of office if they don't arrest him. Now, in the fall, Dave was stopped and, and hassled for half an hour for lawfully carrying, walking down the street. And now he's actually breaking the law and they're, they're not bothering with it. They're actually actively avoiding it. It's one hell of a just, juxtaposition. Check in on the forum at nhfree.com for updates. <laughs>